Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Joe's Wild Side Adventures. I'm down here in Panama with the Hog Hunter Guide Service and Frank Carbone. How you doing, Frank? It's great, Joe. It's great, great to see you. Yeah. We uh, just got started here. Frank got a sailfish, as you'll see, all the way up to the boat. But we're here to talk about Hooked on Panama, the latest new high-tech fishing lodge in Panama. So today, I guess, Frank, we're going to be going after some sail, some marlin. Yeah, it's tuna, some big tuna. They've been catching 100 plus pound tuna. Great. Yeah, we're well, pretty good tonight. That's right. We're really looking forward to it. So stay tuned, everybody, when Joe's Wild Side Adventures return. Hooked on Panama in Central America. Iba convidando al festín regional Donde el sabanero acostumbra a lucir Todo su coraje contra los ataques de un toro puntal Que viva la tierra de pampa y de sol Viva las mujeres de mi Santa Cruz Viva la región donde el español sigue siendo crío Y donde la luz baña de colores a todas las flores y a la juventud Ok, we got a sale, Frank, Hold up. Oh, my first sale. I hope I get him to the boat. Oh, yeah. This one right here. This one right there. There he goes. This way. There he just came up. He's kind of floating around on the top out there. There he is. Look at him. Show his face out there. Yeah. Woo! All right, Frank. Hook on Panama! Black stronger than a large mouth in Florida. <laughs> it's a little bigger than a large mouth, huh? There he is, there he is, there he is. Real five, real five. Up, up, raise the rod, raise the rod. Good job. There he is. Oh, nice, nice. Woo! Good work, Frank. <laughs> well, he, he got a look at the boat, Frank, and he's saying, no, thank you. Yeah. He's going to pump the top. <laughs> oh, look at that. Pump the top. Nice. Look at the colors on him. Frank, I don't think he likes you. I love him. <laughs> Pull back. Pull back a little bit. Easy. Right now, I'm thinking about relief, you know, because I, I got the bubble back. Okay. Oh, how gorgeous. How pretty is that? Did he cut it? Yeah. No, he just pulled the hook. Yeah. No, he just pulled the hook. Well, as you saw, we got Frank Selfish right up to the side of the boat, and uh, Eric had a hold of his bill, and the line was wrapped around his bill, and he went to turn him around, and, and it's, the fish spit the hook, and just you saw it swim, swim off there. So uh, it's my turn, and uh, this has pretty, been a pretty hot area the last few days for the sails and the marlin, so we'll see what happens. and. Uh, Hopefully I'll get my shot here. There he comes, there he comes. Hey, we hooked up. 
Nice fist. Tail fist. Big fail. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Go get him, go. Boy, he's still oh, nice. Oh, man, look at that. Man, is he out there. All right, Just got finished saying we saw that fish. Woo, look at him go. We worked this thing I just mentioned a little bit ago. Circled two or three times and we had a sailfish come up and whack at it a few times and Victor just was patient, made another pass. And the last time he just was all out after it. As you saw, he made some really, really pretty jumps. Hog Hunter Guide Service and hooked on Panama. We got it. Less than five minutes, we have three sailfish come up. Go get the top of the Oh, wow! I got him. Man, look at him go! Wow! That fish wants to be a movie star, man. He's putting on a serious show for us. What side do you want to bring him in on, Eric? He's right in front of the boat, about 25 feet. Ooh. That is a monster. Yeah, that is a, big, that is big a monster. monster. back in. We don't want to kill him. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back right after these words. Well, we're going to take a little break from the fishing. We'll get back there very quickly, but I wanted to take a few minutes and talk with one of the owners of Hooked on Panama, Mr. Dan Peavy. Hey, Dan, how are you? Not bad. How are you today? I am great. i just uh, having a great time here this week, and uh, uh, as you could see from the show, we're doing a lot of fishing, and we're catching some wonderful fish, but you do other things here in Panama. And uh, tell everybody at, at home who was interested in coming on a deep water, deep sea fishing trip a little bit about your place and uh, what you're all about here. Well, kind of, uh, we started this idea about four years ago. It uh, started with a love of fishing, and um, we just decided that, you know, we could probably do this a little better than a lot of the guys that are out there right now. We set up a really nice resort around us here. Uh, we're building our own custom boats, so all the fleet's brand new. And, uh, man, we've been fishing since we were little kids. Started on the Gulf of Mexico out of Texas, and uh, have been living in Hawaii for about 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. and. Man, this place, Panama, is just something special. Yeah, it is, you know? it is beautiful. I've been in Central America a couple of times, and, and every one of the countries that I go to, you get a little different flavor. The fishing's a little bit different, but uh, I noticed you have some brand new little bungalows here. What do you have, about seven or eight of them? Or Actually, what? we have 11 bungalows total. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, we try to accommodate 12 or so fishermen because we really like to keep it very small and personal. You know, we don't want to you know, turn a bunch of people in and out of this place every day. And also, we put a little less pressure on the fishing that way, too. Uh -huh. You know, a smaller fleet out there instead of a big bunch of boats uh, right. out there taking everything out of the ocean. Yeah. You know, we practice a lot of catch and release. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And uh, uh, that doesn't mean you ca can't keep a couple tuna or a couple dorado, which we just had some wonderful meals here, the, the cooking here. And it's such a personalized touch. That's what I really like about it. It's very quaint. By the end of the week, the second, third day, you know everybody, you know all the guides, you know the yep. kitchen staff. And uh, Dan, you've done a really nice job in, in bringing that little family home touch to the place, which, which really makes it uh, nice. Yeah. How do you get here? If How you're coming you in from here? the States. Well, it depends on where you're coming from the States, but usually you fly into Panama City, and uh, we'll put you up for a night there in the city. We'll pick you up the next day at your hotel and transport you to the local airport, which will get you to the town of David. We'll pick you up there and bring you on down to the lodge, about an hour and a half drive or so. 
and uh, we pretty much are on the fringes of civilization out here, which is kind of nice. We don't have the noise of any kind of traffic or sirens or right. telephones or anything else like that, and uh, which makes for a really peaceful experience. About the noisiest thing we have out here is the howler monkeys when they wake us up in the morning. Well, that's kind of a neat thing if you're not uh, from around <laughs> in Central America and you don't get here often. But uh, and, and I can vouch for the service. Uh, you make your arrangements from your home destination in the States or wherever you're coming from. Once you get to Panama City, there are no worries. There are people waiting there with signs with your name on them. They shuttle you to the bus. They shuttle you to the hotel, to the airport. Boom, boom. They take care of your luggage. It's a really well-run organization. And before we go back to fishing, you do offer some other things here too. I, I guess you're trying to build up fly fishing and you have some kayaking and some tours going on. And Absolutely. Well, we didn't want to be just a fishing resort. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to uh, cater to families too. And so we do have kayak rentals. We can set you up with some horseback rides. Uh, we can do some off-property things like whitewater river rafting. Mm -hmm. We can take you for a little uh, tree trek up in Boquete on the slopes of the volcano where you do the cable tour through the, you know, the jungle canopy forest. It's pretty amazing stuff up there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so we try to do a little bit for everybody. Well, Dan, I want to thank you again for your wonderful hospitality and having us down here at Hooked on Panama. You can check out Hooked on Panama on the website at hookedonpanama.com or you can go to my website, joeswildsideadventures.com or you can book it through Hog Hunter Guide Service. And Frank was the guy uh, who took me down, Frank Carbone and Hog Hunter. Uh, it's just been a wonderful week. So uh, once again, thank you. Let's get back to fishing now and enjoy more of these wonderful sailfish, marlin, dorado, tuna, and you name it. Thanks again, Dan. Good luck out there fishing. All right. right. Stay tuned, everybody. When we come back, more Joe's Wild Side Adventures with Hooked on Panama and Central America. Well, we got a double. Frank and I both hooked up. We haven't seen any fish yet. We're out here uh, trying to catch some bonita for bait for, uh, for some marlin. I have no idea, Frank. What do you think? I'm going to say it's probably bonita, but this thing ran pretty good. I got a pretty good reel on. I'm going to say they're probably the native up. Huh? Yeah, I would say. If I had to get, but yours are running. I think mine's the native. I got a lot lighter rod, too. I got one coming up here. Coming up. It's a pretty white fish. I've seen it. Oh, that was fine. Yeah, I got a bonita. Was it a dolphin? It's just blue. What is it? It looks white. Bonita. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. See, Joe, that's the way you catch fish. <laughs> that's the way you catch the bait. Yeah. That rod's five times heavier than this one. I cheat. <laughs> Man, they just, they just they're gorgeous fish. Look at that, look at that. Oh my god, he's got hold on a little. We need to stop using ultralight. <laughs> there we go. Wow. It's like an iridescent color. Okay, we'll buy it. Look how pretty that fish is. Yeah, look at nice. that blue, huh? And that's bait, folks. We're going to use this as live bait for a marlin. With a, what's that, about a three, a four or five pound bonita? Like five pound. Five pound bonita we're going to be using for bait. So imagine what the other fish is going to look like if the bait's five pounds. Yeah, wow, look at that. Holy cow. the size of that needlefish, huh? Now that's a needlefish. Woo! They're all tough close to you now. Well, uh, we've been catching bait all morning and we got this needlefish. It's, it's well over three foot long. And uh, Eric has tied up this Dahichi hook. And what are we going to do with this thing? Uh, we're going to try to catch a marlin uh, with this needle fish. Imagine that. A marlin. Now, so this is the bait, folks. Look at that. We're going to use a three and a half foot uh, fish for bait. So <laughs> this ought to be a treat. All right, let's get him in there, Eric, right. and see what happens. Oh, look, there's another one. There's another one. 
For some of these beautiful sailfish, these beautiful dolphin, red snapper, oh, yeah. tuna, we caught them all this week, and uh, just had a this wonderful place time. Rocks. It certainly does. But uh, hey, folks, make sure you stay tuned for Cooking on the Wild Side coming up next. That's going to be all from Panama. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Woo! Yeah, good job. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking on the Wild Side. Today I'm in Panama at the Hooked on Panama Lodge and I have the pleasure of working with Chef Margot from the Hooked on Panama Lodge in her kitchen and today we're going to make a ceviche, ceviche yes. with mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi. And we just right. caught the mahi-mahi today so why don't you tell our friends uh, how you make your ceviche. Okay, I make my ceviche like this. The first, the first pass is you cut the fish and boil them for 10 seconds in the water with salt. Okay, so basically we're going to blanch yeah. the mahi for 10 seconds in some boiling water with a little bit of salt, yeah, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And after I put uh, onions in the bowl. Looks like about a cup of onions. Yeah. Okay. And after green pepper and red peppers. Okay. I put uh, culantro. Cilantro. Um, cilantro. Okay. So, uh, so far we yeah. have white onion, red yeah, pepper, yeah. green pepper, yeah. and cilantro. Okay. And after I put a ginger. Ginger. Uh, juice ginger and um, ginger's... Um, Shredded ginger. Yes. Okay. The first ginger. And believe me, folks, I've had this already this yes. week. It is absolutely fantastic. So now yeah. I get to learn how to make it. And after put the sugar, little, sugar. little. Okay, we, little, so we have some little. granulated brown sugar. Yes. Okay. Okay. And after put the uh, black pepper. Black pepper. All right. Looks like about a teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, put the salt. Okay, salt. All right. um, put the ajinomoto. Ajinomoto is basically MSG, so it, it's up to you if you want to put that in, or some of you uh, people don't like the MSG in their food, so you could leave it out as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not to put um, vinegar, white vinegar with lemon. White vinegar and lemon. So equal parts: one cup vinegar, one cup lemon. Mix everything in the bowl. Okay. And after put the fish okay. in. Okay. Put the ceviche in. Okay, when it's 
I put. You should smell this. It's got a very citrusy oliva, smell. Oliva. Okay. Olive oil. Yes. Mm -hmm. and some hot pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. The name here is picante in Panama. Pic picante. Yes. Salsa picante. Salsa picante. Okay. That's uh, what the people like. But the people not like can. Okay. So if you it. don't really like hot, you don't need to put that in there. Okay. Yes. As ready, uh, I have to put in the refrigerator for one hour. One hour? Yes. Okay, and then once it's, you take it from the refrigerator, it's ready to eat? Yes. And you put it on some crackers? Yeah, crackers, um, bread, so okay. anyway. All right, well, let's put this in the refrigerator, and uh, we'll give it an hour, and we'll come back, and we'll check it out. Okay, well, we're back, and the ceviche was in the uh, refrigerator for about an hour, and the vinegar and lemon juice actually cooks the fish. So uh, we prepared and uh, Margo prepared a bowl of this a little bit earlier so we have it ready to go. But one important thing to remember. Yes, the remember is that put the ceviche in the glass bowl and never get the ceviche for the, the, the spoon. Okay. The, the, the spoon, only the madera okay. and the plastic. Okay, okay. So you, you could mix it with a wooden spoon you cannot put it in the refrigerator in any kind of metal bowl or wooden bowl. It has to be in a glass bowl. So uh, let's, uh, before we take it to the guests, yeah. do you mind if I uh, Yeah, you want to try? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's good. Okay. And maybe I should just get a little cracker here. I'm yeah. going to steal a cracker from yeah. one of them. They won't That's notice. <laughs> no, Mom. Okay. Good. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, I think we can put it in the bowls and we can serve it to our guests okay. now. You can make what the octopus of the spring uh, tamarones? Okay, you? shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, the lobster. Oh, so basically any yeah, type of seafood. That's a recipe for all the, the... Oh, that's very good to know. Yeah. Okay, so when Margot was saying, we can use this with lobster, we can use it with shrimp, with any kind of fish and it's a really a nice appetizer. Um, probably a little bit later on in the show, we're going to cook some tuna, so this is gonna make a perfect appetizer. So yeah. let's go serve it to our guests and okay. see what they think. Okay. okay. Well, that's gonna do it for today's show, folks. I wanna thank you for watching Cooking on the Wild Side. Margo, I'd like to thank you for inviting me into your kitchen. Uh, we're gonna serve the ceviche and not our guests and see what they think, so, okay. Okay, we're gonna stand right here and wait and, and see if they like it, okay? okay. Oh, we have to eat it. Yeah, that's what, no, 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 come on, come on. You're gonna have to stay right here. She made it, I just watched. But I did learn how to make it, so. Hey, thanks for watching Cooking on the Wild Side. We'll see you next time. Bon appetit.